types of funding. In this video, we're going to have a look at the different types of funding for businesses. What type of funding would you try to secure? So here are a few that we're going to look at in today's session, such as business angels, overdraft and grants. So when starting up your own business, you need to look at the type of money funding you want to obtain and how much depending on the type of business it is. So personal savings are the best way to fund your potential business, especially a startup business. It is low risk and you'll be putting your own money into it. Again, think about the benefits and limitations of each of those methods as we're going along. So the next one is a bank loan, depending on your credit history, they will lend you it depending on that. You do of course have to pay it back, there's three types, short term, medium term and long term, and you pay it back with interest. It is a standard loan or you can get different perks with each type of loan. A credit card may be easier to apply than a loan, but you would only use a secure a small amount of money. Your credit limit may increase over time if you pay back when you have initially borrowed it. It may be possible to borrow money from family and friends as well, who may allow you to repay it over a longer term. However, again, there is cause of conflict in this and you need to take into consideration these benefits and limitations as well. The next one is a grant, so pretty much free money and they encourage local entrepreneurs to grow businesses and you don't have to pay it back and they, a West Midlands grant for example, they'll give you up to a million pounds to start your business. The Prince's Trust is a charity that supports disadvantaged and vulnerable young people, again getting young people out there to start their own businesses, so helping the local community. So for the next one, you could apply for an overdraft on your existing bank account. And this may be quite easy to do. You need to do it in advance and speak to your bank. Business angels are those, for example, in Dragon's Den, you've got Deborah Mead and Lord Sugar. All of these are investors who have a lot of money and they will be willing to give you money to, to carry on or expand your business in return of a share of that business. So again, in an exam, try and apply it to the case study, thinking about the most suitable type of funding. Crowdfunding for a variety of reasons to raise money for a particular cause or type of business. Again, you need to persuade customers in order to do this. Many businesses use trade credit as well, which enables the business to acquire goods on credit. So it's kind of like higher purchase and you can pay it back at a later date. So again, negotiating with a supplier and the business may have a period of time before they have to pay it back. Again, it will help your business. So have a look at this case study. If you want to have a go at it, then it will be great. I'll give you a few minutes to do this. Lauren wants to start up her own business, making customized t-shirts. She has some experience in doing this and she enjoys it. She'll use her spare bedroom at home to work in, but will need equipment, materials, fixtures and things, as well as packaging. She wants to advertise and mostly do this online and she'll invest into an effective website as well. She will need 2000 pounds to start up her business. So what you need to do and start thinking about based on the different types of funding we've just looked at, recommend which type of funding would be the most suitable for her. So in this kind of exam question slash coursework, you would need to think about what type of situation she's in. How much money does she need? Is it an awful lot she needs or not quite so much? So again, think about that. And if you have any questions based on this, leave it in the comments below. Thank you.